Bam. Okay, so I'm going to get right on to it and start talking about um, using a ketogenic protocol for fitness competitions. Uh, not, I'll go into like endurance athletes later or the difference between sprinters and endurance athletes on keto, which is obviously uh, glucose for sprinters is going to give you phew, rocket fuel. Whereas ketones are going to give you sustained energy for long distance endurance training. But I digress. Let's go into straight aesthetics, right? So uh, people ask me all the time if I compete or if I'm going to compete, which then I always say, hell no. Um, I just like being healthy, you know? I like having some energy, energy, energy all day. I feel good. I feel ripe. And for those who just chimed in on my videos, I have been doing this for almost eight years now. Strict keto, no refeeds, not a one. I'll be 50 years of age in 2017. What? I uh, used to be a pro skateboarder. Yes, busted my left knee and I've had 10 surgeries on it. Uh, so I cannot run, jump, lunge, squat, or run out of a burning building. So how is it that I'm able to maintain a lean body mass when I think the only thing I take sometimes is some algae, <laughs> some spirulina and some chlorella? Good source, FYI. So how's this achieved? Um, well, first of all, uh, you can use a ketogenic protocol for fitness competitions, bodybuilding, figure, physique, whatever, all the different 20,000 categories that exist now, which I don't understand. I don't do it myself. I find it very, 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 very fascinating to watch this reality. I really think it's quite interesting how you can manipulate your body to go from, you know, one huge size to like being super shredded and all that kind of stuff. I find it fascinating. Um, do I think it's healthy? Hell no! That shite's so unhealthy, it's unbelievable! Um, <clears throat> excuse me. A lot of people will use uh, bodybuilding or fitness or fitness reality to try to just get fit for the first time in their lives. So people are just like, yeah, I'm gonna use this to try to have a goal to, you know, drop my body, lean body, and drop to a lean body mass and drop my body fat. But the reality is that shite's so unhealthy times a thousand. So a lot of people, when I go on the internet and I look at different forums, the word keto is entering the fitness and bodybuilding world like fucking storm. And then people think that they can do it six weeks out and just get shredded on keto, but they're not doing keto. And I don't know why they use the word keto and they just need to use a carb, a cyclic, uh, carb cycling or a cyclic low carb high fat cycle rather than keto. Keto is about using ketone bodies. Units of fat from your body that can get within the Krebs cycle and use within the brain. And that takes weeks, six to months to a year. So all this kind of stuff, if you guys fall on my channel and you're like, yeah, I want to do a ketogenic protocol because I want to get super shredded. And as you can see that, um, 5'3", uh, probably, I don't know. I don't know what percent body fat I am right now, so I'm not going to say, but I'm pretty low for a woman. I'm under 15% body fat, and uh, I don't do any cardio, and I do not, I, my, my calories, which is very subjective, sit around, I don't know, 21 to 2,500 calories a day at 5'3", eating 80% fat from 200 grams of fat, and so I say or explain in many videos, you can see that I'm not dry, I'm not on any diuretics. You can see that I'm not vascular whatsoever, not vascular. And so uh, there's a certain type of look to a ketogenic aesthetic when you're eating high fat. So as you can see, I am very anabolic. I am not in a gluconeogenic phase. Uh, you can see I'm not anything, my skin doesn't look rashy and gaunt and all the dieting and all the cardio and all the thyroid and the adrenal and all this kind of stuff so you can see that it's just pure heaven what can i say shite's pure heaven 
Um, I love it. I've been able to build my entire body, especially with having such a terrible injury on the left leg. I've still have been able to build muscle, being in a catabolic state at a premenopausal age, which I'm not even close to being in premenopause, which is fantastic. The benefits of regulating your hormones on a ketogenic protocol. So what I propose for those who want to do strict keto, not this fake ass BS garbage stuff that people use the word keto. People don't understand that Ketogenesis is used for things like cancer, multiple sclerosis. Yes, add a cancer patient or a person, not patient, she's not a patient, she's in, she's in remission. Yesterday, brain cancer. Stuff's no joke. So when people try to use it for aesthetic reasons, I'm like, learn the science, learn, understand more of how this works, just a little bit more, just to give you guys a better understanding that just because you drop your carbs, and up your fat a little bit does not put you in a state of ketosis. So people are like, oh, I do one, I do ketogenic all day long and then I have one carb meal. And I was like, that's not ketogenic. Or I do a one carb meal or carb refeed each week. That's not ketogenic. You're not even close into a state of ketosis by refeeding. Sorry, that's how it works. You might break down ketones. You might lose a little bit, use, lose. <laughs> you might use a little bit of those ketones, but as long as your glucose remains in a carb burning level from stress, gluconeogenesis, that's not ketosis. It takes a long time to get into a highly adapted keto state so you know that you are not catabolic. It does not put you into a gluconeogenic state. Your thyroid is not compromised. Cancer cells are not being fed. Candida drops. Your gut dysbiosis heals. SIBO heals. All of these autoimmune disorders heal. People who are diabetics heal and exponentially that's real ketogenesis i worked with a woman who uh, uh who um uh is is uh going through she's drug resistant epileptic and that means that you know seizures every day it took us months like six eight months for her to start having those uh seizures uh she could instead of having seizures every day she started having seizures just a few times per week to sometimes not at all. So this is what's amazing about ketogenesis. What's really amazing is the way to protect your DNA and save yourself from turning into an old mother sucker. I'm just saying, because when you're, you go through advanced glycation end product, that's when you age, when your DNA chain shortens, that's when you saw, feel and see and notice the signs of age and slowing down and what not. I get people in their 20s and teens with stage 3 adrenal dysfunction. And they're tired and they in their teens. Inverted cortisol all day, every day. And younger and younger guys on low T. So the bodybuilding world is so fascinating. But I like, I don't like to use the word biohacking, but you guys can relate to that. I like messing with my own genetics, is what I'm saying. You know, this isn't genetics. People are like, hey, black don't crack. And I'm like, this is not genetics. This is epi mother uh, genetics. Learn about it. Epigenetics. Epi. Because if you don't take care of your genes, your genes will not take care of you. So it's maximizing your individual genetic potential. And that takes incredible work and incredible discipline. So, like I said, like right now, I might have chloride, and I haven't even done that. So, I'm, I'm on the only supplement that I am on right now is a subdermal magnesium. The rest I'm getting from real food. Now, can I sometimes do supplementation? Yes. But as a rule of thumb, I try to keep it real most of the time, right? I'm allowing my body to to microdose its pharmacy within inside itself and to heal the gut lining so you are absorptive. So when you eat food, it's not coming out of your urine or stool. Okay. If you're gonna compete, women, ketogenesis is a fantastic way to compete. Drop your body fat under 15 without the effects of losing your menstrual cycle, which essentially turns you into an old lady like that. And then it starts to affect your systems exponentially. Men, yes, it's also great, you know, for, for similar but different reasons. 
Like, you know, women tend to be estrogen dominant, men battle with low testosterone and too high levels, well, too high levels of estrogen as well, and too high levels of dehydrotestosterone, which is also creating issues with male pattern balding, men become feminized with too much estrogen docking on their estrogen receptors, they become blunted, and there's just too much estrogen in men these days, I'm just saying. Women complain about the pear shape, really, really big on the hips, lots of cellulite, um, but really, uh, men complain about the flank fat, but really it's about not the aesthetics, it's about having some energy. A lot of you guys have insulin resistance, you're close to being insulin resistant, again, your adrenals are overloaded, you guys have, like, just some of you are so tired, you have too low cortisol all day long, and then just keep overstimulating the adrenals with caffeine because you hear that that's how you get shredded. Well, this is how you get shredded. This is how you get shredded on keto, right? This is how you get shredded and build muscle. It's not about just getting shredded. It's about being in a, more of an anabolic state. Now, we're in a homeostatic balance, so you're gonna always be a little catabolic because you gotta build up and break down and build up and break down, but you wanna be more anabolic than you are catabolic without having to take a bunch of exogenous drugs to try to look like Instagram people, which is a bunch of BS, which is a whole nother subject that I really wanna cover about Instagram being such crap and people doing butt implants and butt lifts and Brazilian butt lifts and men on shite and so many people on shite and I'm in Hollywood and, and I'm going to a gym and I'm looking at these string bean actors and all of a sudden like weeks later they're like boop, 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 and they don't really lift. They don't really lift, yo. <sighs> Today, you know, when you're almost 50 years of age and you're watching things become so superficial, it's really disgusting and nauseating, even though I'm sitting here and showing the business. business. But I really want to empower people to show them that at any age, you can literally be healthy and strong, be strong. We want to be strong, we want to be, we want to be viable, we want to be malleable, we want to be flexible, we want our hormones to be balanced, we're tired of being depressed, bipolar, can't sleep, like poor impulse control, like I said, men, you have low T, and <clears throat> most guys don't want to admit it, but, you know, it, it creates a lot of depression in men. So, on the subject of using keto to you for competitions, you got to start doing this stuff like six months out. If you're trying to do it six weeks out, if you've already gone from like a paleo reality, or if you were already doing low carb, it's you're going to adapt 10 times faster. If you have a very less or very low metabolic damage, you don't have leaky gut, um, which a lot of you guys do, uh, you're gonna have, be at an advantage. If you don't have a parasite or candida overgrowth, you're gonna be at an advantage. If you don't have adrenal insufficiency, thyroid, uh, reproductive, you're gonna be at an advantage. So. For those who had hippy dippy parents and you you know you grew up on organic foods and you were um, active and athletic as as young people and you know you didn't destroy your metabolism which you know you didn't have like weight gain weight loss weight gain while well, the roller coaster thing yeah y'all gonna adapt ten thousand times faster and you're gonna see the benefits of ketogenesis right away like it can happen within six weeks but how many people out there are that metabolically sound where their gut bacterium that the bacteria in your colon is cool that you don't have an overgrowth that you don't have parasites you don't have infections in your colon that you don't have holes in the secretory IgA that you don't have holes in your gut lining you know it's not that many people I'm gonna keep it real you see, you see dermatitis you see eczema you see acne you see all type of skin issues that's like the most obvious thing red spots scaly skin that you can't explain. Um, that stuff's not normal, people. Things aren't normal. We really, like our parents, our mother's vagina is just loaded in candida. You're already born with rashes and whatnot. You know, you've been scratching forever. That stuff's not normal. Your mom's vagina has a gut dysbiosis. You have one too. It's no good. How does this connect and correlate with fitness competitions? People are expecting me to, well, here's the macros, and you're going to have this many grams of fat, protein, this type of cruciferous vegetable, this type of protein under 100 grams, blah, blah, blah. You're going to do this for this. It doesn't work like that, you